I'm BJ Daniels, quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. Ira Reynolds, head football coach of Family DRS. Todd Lanner, head football coach of the Godby High School Cougars. Coach Lewis, head coach of Rickers Football. You said Shakira, I'm head football coach at Lincoln High School. And you are watching franchise. The franchise. Franchise. The franchise. And you are watching franchise sports. I think every year you have a different team. So you got to first find out in the off season from January to April. And then in May, you need to find out what team are you first and what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses. Because what may be a weakness the year before may be a strength now. So there's no reason you know, to really spend a lot of time on that component. Or you know maybe some year before you may have something that's a strength that may be a weakness this year. So I think really, in your spring evaluation, your winter and spring evaluation of your team, you need to see what type of team you'll have as far as physical components and also mental components. Uh, but you know, going into the season, uh, we're looking to make really good progression as we go. Uh, we had a quite a few seniors that left last year, which, you know, were about seven slots, you know, uh, vacant. Uh, but the guys that are stepping up, they're younger, but it, they're pretty talented. And we're just going to do everything we can to cultivate that, that experience so they can feel comfortable and step into a, a role like a big time player. Well, we, we were able to play, we were fortunate enough to play for a state championship. Um, of course, you know, it didn't come out like we wanted it to, but. Um, you know, we were able to play every possible game we could play, which is, you know, that goal that we had set. And, uh, of course, that's where we want to get back to this year. What are some of the things that you guys are focusing on as a team this summer, just to kind of improve on last year, heading into next season? Man, I'm my thing is focus. It's been able to stay focused, been able to stay driven to be great. You know what I mean, we talk about every obstacle that's a, that's a put in front of you, 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 you meet it head on and you try to knock it down. You know what I mean, not trying to go around and trying to find a shortcut. But these guys are really busting their butt, doing a great job with uh, with, with every challenge that I put in front of them. Well, Chris Jackson uh, is our top prospect. Uh, he's a young man. He's a young man that got several offers already. You know, he's a rising senior. Uh, he's already qualified academically. Um, you know, he's a uh, he's, he's a guy that can that can really do some damage out there if a team not giving him a lot of respect. Meaning that they, at some point they're going to roll the coverage to him because he one on one he's probably the best receiver in the area. Uh, who are some of the players that you have? Some of the more experienced players that you have that look that you guys are looking to to help you guys transition to this new team. Uh well, uh, of course we have uh, Raekwon Archer and Lair Stevens and Benson Johnson. They're all back in the secondary. Freddie Simmons is back. Uh, we played a lot of sophomores last year, so you're going we're a heavy senior junior laden team this next year. I mean, it's the first time we've been heavy senior junior laden really since uh, 2012. Uh, over those past, you know, 13 and 14, we had a lot of sophomores who had to play during those years. Now we don't, now our sophomores really going, you know, we don't get wrong, we have some talented sophomores that will play, but we don't have to rely on them as much on depth and quality depth or as starters. Uh, I remember Eddie Boo Williams and uh, you know Sonny Kamari, a couple other guys who would come back every now and then, and I would look up to those guys when I was in in, uh, in high school. So um, you know I'm not necessarily looking looking for any recognition, but um, you know I'm just really just out here just to work out with these guys. I'm doing the same workouts they're doing, uh, the same workouts they're doing I did in 2004. Stuff hasn't changed here, so um, you know, I just feel like it's important for me to be here. Who are some of the players that you're looking for to kind of like step up into those new leadership roles this year? 
Well, Darius Bradwell, our quarterback, um, you know, he, he he played all you know 15 games for us last year. But of course, he's got to continue to do the things he's doing. Uh, Taquan Watson at running back. He had Taquan had I think 850 yards rushing last year. So you know, he he understands what it takes. Cedric Wood is a uh, an ESPN top 100 guy, FSU commit. So he's got to continue to do the little things he's doing.